I welcome ye back, and I give you my greetings to you. This is Tibo Legend and another part two. Let's play Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. We have had four Rangers go through their trials so far. Kimberly defeated the Skeleton Man and and thoroughly thrashed him with her bow. Zack chopped up the guy, the angry farmer man, with his ox. Uh, ox? He used an ox. <laughs> he actually went to a farm, picked up an ox, and beat the farmer to death with it. Now he used his axe, of course. Trini used her whatever those were. Little trident things. Billy used this uh, to defeat I Guy. He used um, his twirly power and his giant trident thing to kill off the evil wolf genie. Whatever, whatever his name is. I don't know his name either. But anyway, now is the time for the leader of the team, the Red Ranger, Jason, to go through his trial. Oh yes, and from a hotel we go to a cave, another illogical transition. And here's Jason, kicking ass again. I'm gonna kick ass and chew bubblegum. <laughs> oh, you can finish it yourself. I feel too lazy. Ow. Again, there's my terrible uh, Duke Nukem impression. There's only two ways this can end, and in both of them, you die. Or something like that. I can't remember exactly how that one goes, but that's probably my favorite thing he's ever said. <laughs> Alrighty. Down you go. Oh, these dark green guys, they're in every single level. You may not you may not remember them from Area 1, but they appeared right at the end, just before you were just before you were gonna fight at the bus. <laughs> I turned it. I turned into Mario for a moment. It's a Mario! Oh. New putties. They have swords! Ooh, you missed. <laughs> Ow. He didn't miss that time. Note to self. Don't mock them, and then let them hit you. It makes you look like an idiot. Ah, uh, whoa. Okay. Don't screw up that. There we go. I find that works. That strategy I was doing there, punching and ducking down and kicking on those guys because they go down far quicker. No, don't you throw your knife! Curses! Ow! A plague of both your houses. <laughs> now I'm quoting Shakespeare for no reason. Oh, I'm just in a random mood. Look out! Ah, success. Oh, and now, the final morphing transformation. It's morphin' time. Tyrannosaurus, raw Red Ranger. Ah. It took a while for those enemies to appear. Oh, haha. Duck underneath that. Sorry, I thought I heard a strange sound. I had to pause for a moment to listen to sounds that I thought I heard, but didn't. Oh no! The barrels are back! The inexplicable rolling barrels that I have no idea who is rolling them. Presumably a putty is, but I don't know. Oh, go down! Take that. Oh, not you again. Go. And throw the barrel. Ow. That was another thing that was really cool about this game. Just an added little touch that you could just use the actual background, only certain things in the background, like barrels and benches, and throw them. If you push the attack button in the exa in the right place, which I wasn't. And it's one of it touches like that, little things like that, that make this a really cool game. <laughs> one of my favorites of all time, indeed. One 
of them. And among the, this is among, of course, the first games I ever played as a kid. Because the first system I ever owned was a Super Nintendo. And I played... Actually, one of three games... Uh, no, four. One of the first four games I ever played, we owned this, NHL 94, Star Fox, and Super Mario World. Uh, which among those is my favorite? I have a hard time deciding, because they're all awesome. With NHL 94, the best hockey game, hockey video game ever made. I mean, really. Will I ever play that? Well, I will say this. I will be a typical Canadian. And I will probably do certain let's plays of certain hockey games. Only I'm going to do some of the... Uh, uh, how should I put this? Some of the less than perfect efforts to create a hockey game. That's what I will do. A certain N64 game, which I believe was the first sports title to ever come out for the N64. And a certain Super Nintendo game named for a certain son of a certain legendary NHLer that only had permission from the NHLPA and not the actual teams, so they just had blank, blank uh, slate for, for every team. It was just like uh, St. Louis. <laughs> The St. Louis who? I don't know, just St. Louis. But anyway, we should get back to this game. Those are plans for the future. Let's go and think about the now, not the future. Oh! Well, it's always good to think about the future. But, I believe it may be more important to think about now, because if I don't think about now, I may fail at this game, although, talking about hockey games, I seem to have been rather good. Although, I did take a few hits there, from the, uh, strafing laser thing. Oh, hear that sound? Duck! Haha! -ha. Now, what could that be? It's like an orange solar beam thing. Now, what's going on here? Oh, no. Hurry up! Duck! Haha! <laughs> now what is this thing? I don't know. All I know is, to advance and progress, we must destroy it. But we're going to be pestered by putties the whole time. I'll get my licks in on this thing. Would you go down already? No you don't. There we go, and the explosion kills the putties, but not me. Because I am a Power Ranger, that's why. There we go. Bust down more doors. They should be Star Trek doors and go do the thing and open automatically for you. Ah, you can proceed. But you have to bust them down because they lock them apparently. Oh, and it's boss time, the final boss of the Ranger stages. The Red Ranger faces this guy that I don't remember. <laughs> I seriously don't know who this is. Please forgive me, Power Ranger fans and nerds who do know who this is. All I know is he carries a sword and he's really fast and can be very difficult to defeat. Unless I have Jason, I always really beat the hell out of him when I play as Jason for some reason. It's other rangers I had trouble with. Go down! Ah, uh, I haven't reached the second stage of the fight yet. Second stage of the fight, he brings out a new weapon. Stop jumping over my head! <laughs> ah, here he is. He brings out a whip. So now he's trying to be Simon Belmont. Simon Belmont. Yes. I will defeat you, evil Simon Belmont. That's what I call this guy. He is evil Simon Belmont. Ow! Ow! Oh jeez, now I'm doing really bad. Oh, but I killed him. Ha ha ha! Success! He blew up. Backflips. And there it is. Area clear, the password system that they use instead of a save system in this game. That I... 
neglected to mention anyway. That is it for Area 5. Next up, Area 6, which will yield... What? Well, what, uh, what happens whenever the Rangers have to deal with a giant monster? Well, you can put it together. See you later.